This week, Makita leaves you no choice but to make a choice. Plus a building built with fancy promises and a pile of recent saws get tortured. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. Today's episode is brought to you by Ohio Power Tool, Pro Tools, Pro Service at the best prices at ohiopowertool.com. And Skill, the tools to do the job, the technology to do it better. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And today we have several tool stories for you, starting with the boys down under, who took a closer look at DeWalt's DCS-334. Mike and Dwayne brought out DeWalt's D-handle jigsaw. Garbage. A handle style beloved by many. Not me. Specifically, the DeWalt 20 volt max version. The boys like the power, the super fast blade change, and the size. Mike says he used to be a barrel grip guy. Sweet. But Dwayne converted him to D handle. Monster. Why didn't you do this segment? You're doing great. Okay, then let me finish. As I was saying, the guys love the DeWalt, suggesting it's the perfect size and power combination. If you're looking for a powerful jigsaw, head over to Oz Tool Talk. Sacrilege. Real jigsaws are barrel grip, period. I am so bored with this. Well, Todd over at Project Farm just tortured eight different reciprocating saws, including a knockoff that cost only 30 bucks. Todd is back to his usual hyper-thorough tool test, this time putting eight different reciprocating saws in the ring, including a wide variety of competitors. He has examples from DeWalt, Hart, two different Makitas, a Makita knockoff called Hermendinger, Ryobi, Bauer, and of course, a corded and cordless sawzaw from Milwaukee. All of his testing comes with the usual excitement, including some entry-level tools beating big boys that cost twice as much. Always a good time. For the full reciprocating rodeo, head on over to Project Farm. Okay, can I say something about another YouTuber? Yeah, sure. Yes. Okay, so one of our favorites is so good at what he does that I cannot help but smile as soon as I hear this. Hey, this is Bill from Sparky Channel. That's right, that is Bill from Sparky Channel. And somehow, no matter what he is selling, I'm always buying. This week, he finally got his hands on the long-awaited Milwaukee M18 Angler powered fish tape. And I tell you, this may be the happiest I've ever seen Bill. And he's a happy guy. And while he loves the concept, he seems pretty distracted by the fact that there are both metal and polyester tape cartridges available for the Angler. But he's stuck with the steel, and he really likes polyester. So much so that after demonstrating the angler, he grabs a manual polyester tape just to show you how much better it is. Milwaukee, you need to get this man the polyester cartridge like today. If you have even a passing interest in the world of Sparkies, head over to Sparky Channel. Last week, we talked about funny job site stories. Now, several of you shared them in the comments and a few emailed them too. And well, most of them were not suitable for YouTube. But don't stop sending them. We still have plans to do a bit of job site theater and we need to save up as many stories as we can. So if you've got a funny job site story to share, take a moment to email it to me at info at coptool.com. This week, we're going to talk about Makita. Yesterday, they finally announced the US launch of their internationally popular new XGT 40 volt and 80 volt tool platform. There are going to be an impressive 50 tools to help launch the new line. And like many others, we're anxious to try them out. However, Makita also revealed their long-term plans and they're unique to our industry. Instead of developing an extension of the LXT 18 volt series they've already had, they created an entirely new line of tools with a ton of overlap. They both have great impacts, hammer drills, circular saws, and many more, most of which only see minor improvements moving from the LXT to XGT. This overlap exists because Makita expects you to choose one or the other depending on what you need to get your specific job done. So our topic this week, are they nuts? Or does this make sense to you? Obviously, if you're deep in LXT and want to slowly move on to XGT, you can. They even have a battery adapter to help you do so. But is this the right plan? Would it have been asking too much just to buy a new platform just for the high powered tools like Milwaukee did with MX? We're gonna talk about it in the comments this week and I look forward to reading and responding to your thoughts after the show. All right, it's time for some construction industry news, and thankfully, it's being provided by the Construction Junkie. The first story this week is about COVID, because it's probably been a while since you've heard anything about that. The Associated General Contractors of America, or AGACA for short, recently completed a survey of nearly 1,500 contractor members to see how the ongoing pandemic is still affecting their business. Among the challenges still facing many are supply chain constraints, rising material costs, and project delays and cancellations. The survey asks a ton of questions, and all the segmented data can be found at the AGC's website. 
Shane covered the highlights in his blog post, including important notes on project delays, cost, employment turnovers, and more. For the highlights, head over to constructionjunkie.com. Shane also shared a story about this awesome new building in China called the F Building. That's not abbreviated, that's section of the name. And instead of being built with concrete, it's made entirely with steel, thanks to their new manufacturing technology. These are B Core slabs designed and built by Broad Group. Now they claim their steel structural support system is five times stronger, but 10 times lighter than structural steel and can withstand a 9.0 earthquake or safely build next to the jogging path your mom uses in January. But beyond this structural revolution, they also make some pretty crazy claims in the promotional video, including 100 times stronger than reinforced concrete of equivalent strength. That's clearly like being 100 times smarter than someone of equivalent intelligence, leading me to assume this is 100 times more true than statements of similar truthiness. They also ramble on about amazing air filtration systems that beat COVID and passive aggressively suggest that we've all been a bunch of jerks for ignoring their brilliant ideas for over 10 years. Seriously, they do. Go watch this video over at Construction Junkie. Again, not talking about your mom. I love her, she's awesome. But she's going to call and complain to me about that. Perfect system, if you ask me. Last week, we talked about three things you missed in the Flex Tool announcement, which you can watch right here. Special thanks to Skill and Ohio Power Tool for sponsoring this episode. Guys, we couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next week. That's from my mom.